All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to talk about Maratha Confederacy and their units. So let's get down to it. And as always, this is David with Fairmere's Rangers. So I guess breaking this down the traditional way, we'll start out with the crappy units first. Our peasantries and desert warriors. They're about as bad as you can get. We don't really need to discuss them much further. Just know this is some of the crap you're stuck with at the beginning of the campaign. Don't worry, there is hope. You do have access to Hindu warriors coming in with 7 morale and then later Sikh warriors with uh, 9 morale. And both of them are fairly good uh, melee units, especially the Sikh warriors, which are a little bit better. Um, quite a bit better, actually. And... Uh, you will have not too much of an upkeep cost between the two, only a $30 difference in upkeep. So these can be very useful units. Now starting off with our musket troops, you're going to have one more crappy unit, the Hindu Musketeers. They're not really worth a damn. Bagheer Infantry, you start getting some good stuff and then later Sikh Musketeers, which are really good units 45 accuracy now the one thing you got to keep in mind with Maratha's musket units especially their line infantry you're gonna have to spread them all the way thin uh, just as similar as you would the Ottomans that way you have maximum firepower potential out of them because they only shoot in the first rank so that is one major disadvantage they have versus European troops uh, but they do have quite a bit of standing power with uh, melee. Now let's speak about light infantry because you're not going to really have access to light infantry except for in a few regions, uh, Afghanistan and uh, you're going to also have access to Kurdish Hillmen which are going to be able to access in Mesopotamia and Syria. So those are some pretty darn good units. Uh, that you'll be able to have access to. They're pretty much like your Rangers uh, type of unit. Uh, their accuracy is really good, especially the Afghan Hillmen with 55 accuracy. Uh, but these are some really good units to have to kind of balance your light infantry that you're lacking. All right, so now some time. Let's talk about artillery for Maratha because you're going to get a couple special units, the 64-pound great gun and the large mortars or kind of like bombardment mortars these units are extremely uh, effective um, however both of them are fixed artillery so you're gonna have to basically um, make sure that you place these units in a very good position at the start of the battle otherwise they're gonna be completely ineffective um, now we'll tell you that they do pack quite of a punch um, seems like the bombardment mortars are a little bit more accurate than what you would get with regular mortar. Of course, they do have all the other artillery as well. Not that you'll want rockets. So with Maratha, you're going to have access to some great melee calves. Some of it is blah blah and it's kind of cheap. Uh, but you get some really great units. The only uh, shooting calf that you're going to have is the Pindari. Uh, but you're going to have the Rajapur Zanzadar and the... Safias, uh, however the hell you say that, which are pretty damn good heavy cav. Uh, the Safias are the uh, Lancers with 23 charge bonus. So obviously being down a Light Dragoon or a Carabiner, you're at a little bit of a disadvantage with the ranged cav. You are going to get to make up with that in a little bit of a uh, interesting aspect is you're going to have camel gunners which are going to give you a 90 range only 35 accuracy though and the reload is not that great however you do also get elephants um, that can shoot from mounted position which are the general which have a little bit less accuracy than the elephant musketeers um, but um, and also less melee uh, as well. Alright, so you can see Maratha has a very unique uh, unit selection versus uh, the other nations. Uh, you have to use Maratha very differently, even from the Ottomans. Uh, the Ottomans are going to have a lot better infantry selection than you do get with Maratha. 
but Maratha does have some very accurate uh, rifle units with the uh, Sikh musketeers and even the Bagheer uh, infantry. So, not bad, but you just don't have the selection that you're going to have with the Ottomans. Now, like I said, Maratha gives you a great combination of some really heavy hitting units, uh, but it's all in how you use them. You got to use them very well together. It's about timing. It's about um, using your units wisely to, to complement each other, uh, if that makes sense. You can't use artillery without the infantry and the cav support. Uh, and obviously, your cav that you're not going to have the shooting cav, you're going to need artillery support or... Uh, infantry support for it. Don't just go run your cab out there uh, in suicide charges or else you're going to not like the results. That can also be said for artillery as well. Don't be so over-reliant on your artillery. They do have some great artillery, but you'll find that the enemy infantry can quickly close the distance on you if you're only relying on that. And if you don't take out a pretty good portion of their army before they get to you. If you have a lesser balanced army, they will quickly overwhelm you once they get into range. Uh, just because of the European, especially the Europeans with their uh, musket accuracy and their ability to lay down firepower on you, you will get quickly overrun. Um, so using elephants as well, um, you can quickly lose your elephants, they're big targets, and uh, bullets can really take them down quite easily. Um, in melee, they are king on the field, but once again, um, if you get shot down, it's going to be highly easy to uh, get routed out because you're relying on those elephants quite a bit. Uh, light infantry are the complete enemy of elephants so make sure you avoid light infantry with your elephants or you get into that light infantry with heavy or fast cav light cav before they start uh, sniping down your elephants so hopefully these tips help and you find that maratha can be quite a bit of fun because i certainly do uh, there's very unique ways to play Maratha, uh, a lot of fun builds that you can do with it. So get wild, have some fun with it, enjoy. We'll see you on the next video.